Hello and welcome tonight to tonight's show. Tonight I will be talking to Hamish about Radio News Reports. Hello everybody. So Hamish, could you please tell us about your bulletins? Well, bulletins are short programmes but they only report on the most important information so they don't go into great detail. This is so the listeners have an idea of main stories and they can quickly gather what the top news is but without a detailed understanding of them. Okay, and could you give us an example of a bulletin? BBC Radio 1 is a news bulletin and it's called Newsbeat. Headlines, talk to me. Well, these are similar to how news is um, introduced on TV, like short descriptions on what's going on um, in the news programme. These can contain audio clips that are related to an upcoming story. Here's an example. The fish said it could be the hottest place in the country. Our top stories this morning, a Guildford private investigation firm is using teenagers to go undercover. As far as the youngsters go, I mean, that almost happened by accident. And we just realised their, their competencies. I mean, things like surveillance and undercover, these guys are virtually invisible. And now here's an example of a news programme. Is the Higgs boson? <laughs> well, like uh, like all, all, all in elementary particles, uh, I think we 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 field theorists think of it uh, like Einstein thought of photons as just that the partic these particles are just packages of energy of, of some kind of we theoretical physicists call the vacuum, uh, which means uh, nowadays something different from what it used to mean. And it means just the, the lowest energy state that you can possibly have in which there are no particles around, but there may be something around, and that something around can be a background field of some sort, uh, which pervades the, the, the universe. So in this theory, there is such a background that's a beautifully eloquent explanation of what the Higgs field is. <laughs> so, as you heard, these are news programmes that have interviews about current events, so they will have a certain topic. Copy only is simply just where news reader sits there and reads out the current events. So, are there no interviews or crossovers? No, there's nothing but the news reporter just reporting on the current events. Here's an example. The death involving a policeman's got angry people out on the streets in America. Oh, a bit like Ferguson. That's what a lot of people are saying. Eric Garner was black. He was apparently put in a chokehold by a white police officer in New York and died. There's a video... So as you heard, the programmes have no interviews about current events, it's just have a certain topic. Um, and also, here's, um, with audio clips, when a reporter talks, and also there are crossovers and there are people speaking, often from pre-recorded reports. So uh, tell us about raps. Well, raps are what finished radio programmes, which... Why I suppose they're called raps because they wrap up the program. They are also used to conclude a subject or topic matter. Yes, man alive, according to People magazine. So, what about live crossovers? Well, Live crossovers are where the reporter crosses over to another reporter. The other reporter is usually not in the studio and they're often at the scene of the event or in a very different country. Um, these can be interviews and, and and another report and this can be used by any of the reporters or an expert, normally an expert on the topic of current event or the best person to speak on the topic of the situation. Um, here's an example. 
Fish said it could be the hottest place in the country. Our top stories this morning, a Guildford private investigation firm is using teenagers to go undercover. As far as the youngsters go, I mean, that almost happened by accident and we just realised their, their competencies. And I think like surveillance and undercover, these guys are virtually invisible. Um, two ways are similar to Live Cross, however they are pre-recorded so the benefit of this is that they can be played at any time. Okay, so Hamish, now tell us about uh, styles. Well, there are many styles including relating to audience. These are where the news stations are specified to a um, particular audience and they show this in how they are created and put together with different components for different styles. For example, BBC Radio 1 has a news programme called Newsbeat and this is targeted at teenagers because it's short and to the point and this is so they can understand easily and most teenagers don't want to listen to a long news report, they will only listen for a short time so it keeps their attention. Um, here's an example. Radio uh, the time is 2.31 with the news, Claire Bradley. The World Trade Center in New York is on fire after being hit by two passenger planes. Two aeroplanes have crashed into the tallest buildings in New York, the World Trade Center. Smoke and flames are billowing from... Saw what happened. There wasn't any great sort of um, panic at that time. And then uh, he saw a uh, flame. Veach says those reports could point to some kind of terrorist attack. Uh, if, of course, this is pure speculation, but if this is some kind of deliberate attack, then uh, really a, an attack of extraordinary symbolism. A Mr. Plane hit the west tower of the centre, causing a gaping hole at the top of the building. Okay, uh, what about public service broadcaster radio stations? Well, public service broadcast radio stations will talk more about national news stories with more formal language, also using the Queen's English. BBC Radio 2 is an example of a broadcaster radio station. Until BBC Radio 2 online on digital radio and on 88 and 91 FM. Now the BBC News at